So we are at CES 2010. And uh, what are you showing? What is the status? Well, last time we saw you, our first screens had just come off the line. That was back in May or June at Computex. And we um, had just taped out in late April and uh, gotten the first screens. And since then, over the last six months, we've been refining it and getting the screens into products. So here at CES, we are showing uh, six different devices, a half a dozen different devices in various different, uh, various different manufacturers. So, so, so in terms of engineering, how much more has been, oh, is it kind of this, like the quality of the screen? How, what's changed there? Well, the first prototypes, we were very, very proud of, but there were some, some, some small things that we needed to improve. The contrast needed to get a little bit better. It was a little speckly. We really refined yeah. the product over the last six months and have put it through the reliability testing and the safety testing and so forth. We started production last month in December. And um, while we start production, we send the screens to the device makers, and then it still takes them um, a little while to get the screens in and, and, and going into into production so they hit the stores, but this, these will be available in stores soon. Cool. So in terms of power consumption, uh, so what is the status and where are you going and like in milliwatts or what, how do you call it and all that? So the status is with the backlight full on yeah. for the screen, uh, the power consumption is about the same as a regular screen for size, about the same. Um, but with the, we can turn the backlight off. Actually, the backlight's on right now, but let me turn it off. Function F2. So you have function Oops. F2 for that? Yeah, sorry. And then but I also switch. That could be a temporary uh, solution? Oh, oh it'll just have, uh, in the products we're working on, there's yeah. um, uh, ambient light sensor that senses the light and knows whether to leave the backlight on or not. Well, so yeah. the backlight takes about 80% of the power consumption of the screen. You turn off the backlight and, um, you know, th this runs at about 2.5 watts, full on, full brightness. You turn off the backlight, you're down to about a half a watt. Um, but that's because we created the screen to be a run-in change with standard netbooks. We're also in tablets and multi-touch tablets and e-readers and so forth. Here at the show, it's all working. We've, put, we've also integrated multi-touch as far as... You say here at the show. So what does that mean? Like how, how, like in this... In this like in these uh, prototypes or are there actually somebody showing over there? In, in, like some companies showing some things? Some companies are showing some things. Yeah. About a half dozen companies are showing things with their screen. Yeah. But you cannot say which? Unfortunately, it's not our product, so no, we yeah. can't comment on it. It's okay. uh, a lot of people So they decide if they show it, uh, how much they show it and all that. They, That's they, right. Yeah. But so half dozen, and of course I'm not going to press you on that or anything, but um, uh, if, if you, what, what's your target in terms of, because what I heard is that, that it was half a watt? And you want to go down to a tenth of a watt? Yeah, we can get down to a tenth of a watt probably uh, this year. And then again, because the electronics were, um, we didn't change the electronics. We're using the same electronics as a tenth of a screen. And there's things we can do to take that down by 5x down to about a tenth of a watt over the course of the next several months. So that's just for the screen part? That's for the screen part with the backlight off, yeah. which matters a lot. If you run with the backlight off, that's the big power draw. What you really want to do is, is make your batteries last longer and have a lighter machine. I mean, the battery is a big weight component. About half the weight of a device is, yeah. you know, in very rough numbers of these kind of devices is, is the battery. So a lighter weight thing is better or just, you know, a battery that lasts for a week. Oh, yeah. And so how, how long do you think the battery life will be? On these devices. Oh, it depends on which devices. I mean, this is not a device. We're this is, you know, we bought this this uh, laptop and just put our screen in it. So this is again not something that this is yeah. again just uh, we ship these out as developer kits. Um, but uh, but but it could be, for example, uh, if let's say you used an, a non processor that was yes. using the minimum. Uh, well, let's say there's no processor at all, there's nothing else, only the screen on the three cell battery. Right. Is there any like numbers you can yeah, say of how long it lasts? Or well, three cell battery of which which uh, size? Three thousand <coughs> milliamps. Milliamp or, or, so yeah. that would be three times three or nine thousand and for pulling a yeah. half a watt and that's it. <laughs> Sir. One point five volt, that's four volt. You know, anyway, so yeah, on a three cell it, it could be very long. It could be very long. 
could be very long. Yeah. Um, I think that some of the cu some of our customers yeah. are announcing about twenty hour right. life. So the idea is to to combine laptop form factor, tablet, and e reader in one device. Yeah, well, you know, there's different people just working on. I think I can do a control alt. You know, on on. A, I should fill out. Oh, it's not. But oh, you have the tilt. Uh, the, what's called the. Yeah, although it's not. This is just the it's Windows an, getting confused. App, yeah, it's yeah. an application called. Okay, let's just close this one. It's just an app that that, that flips. Yeah, it is an app that flips. Okay. It's but called EEE -E -E yeah. Rotate, but it has nothing yeah. to do with the EEE, -E, apparently. But it's Control Alt. Hmm. So the the goal uh, is a also little buggy on the <laughs> Chinese laptop. And the goal is also it should be the same price as an LCD screen. Is that the um, goal? I, you know, it, uh, the, the goal I think on price. Um, what's the goal in price? Yeah, how, how, do, you, goal, how do you target that? Our goal that? is more to try to create innovative displays with the standard manufacturing infrastructure of LCD, and so in the limit, the cost structure is a, is is about the same. But right now, for example, in 10 inch, there's 30 or around 30 yeah. million 10 inch screens shipped last year. Don't quote me, you know, okay. plus or minus. And we're just starting mass production. So until we get into volume, the price is a little bit more expensive. But yeah. as we get into volume, the price is, is it's just a small premium over standard LCD, yeah. LCD pricing in, in high volume. In terms of bill of material, is small. What's it called? Yeah, there's some tack time issues yeah. that we use different um, processes a little longer, a little shorter, and the fabs are laid out yeah. for one way. And also our, our polarizers are a little bit more expensive, but that's okay. coming down as well. So that it's, you know, it's in there. Yeah. So your manufacturing rate now, and how soon can we hope again? Soon in the stores, and I don't know the exact, I actually yeah. don't know the exact date. Yeah. So. It could be very soon, it could be a little bit later, it's just up to them, right? It could be very soon. Yeah. It could, very like, soon. very, very, very soon. And also, we're do, we're supporting the DIY community, so you'll be able to, we'll, we'll be announcing, hopefully, at the end of Q1, uh, maybe okay. Q2, but hopefully at the end of Q1, a way for uh, DIYers to be able to get screens and mod their uh -huh. own netbooks, which I'm All sure. Right. It's going to be fun. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks.